What is going on? Welcome back to Canadian Dividends. So today we're going to talk to you on my tax-free savings account, go over what I've been doing, what I plan on doing, and everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And with that said, let's get right to it. Portfolio is at 102000 so I did get my $800 Enbridge dividend. It was supposed to be paid on the 1st, but it was paid a couple days later. My last update for my tax-free savings account was fairly recent, so it was on Sunday. But since then, I have been doing a lot of buying because a lot of stocks that have been on my radar have been kind of going down, essentially. So right now, I do have about 31400 in available cash. As far as, I guess, based on my portfolio, what I'm down on, I have been mostly buying that. So over the last couple of days, I did buy a couple of shares of Apple. So these are CDRs on a side note. I did buy Boeing. I did buy Bell. So that one is crazy because as you can kind of see, just looking over the last one week, it just took a plummet ever since March the 1st. And there has been no real news to justify that other than most likely big money taking uh, equity out of the market and buying into crypto. And so, of course, Bell and many others have a very high dividend. So this is where it's kind of inverse to growth. So I think this is what's been happening behind the scenes. And aside from that, though, you can kind of just see like ever since their earnings that caused a very significant sell off, but that's already been factored into the stock price. So I've been taking advantage and buying a little bit. So I do have a fairly good average right now so i'm happy with that and then i do still have my bitcoin i really wish i had a little bit more of that and then i have my gold so gold and bitcoin are my hedges even though bitcoin is somewhat new age and whatever it's on it's never really been tested essentially during a very big recession just to see if it's going to hold up or not but my gold is doing fairly well so it is up 6.66 percent pretty bad number overall but it's still regardless though it is a good hedge so that's why I'm still maintaining that and I'll probably hold that if there is a gold dip essentially so if it goes back down into maybe the low 23s based on this ETF I will be buying a lot more so probably throw maybe five to ten thousand dollars in there because based on everything that's been happening the fact that gold has been maintaining its value despite the growth stocks going up like crazy and despite the fear and greed index being at 75 that does insinuate that something might be coming and i always hate to say that i always hate to be the doomsday kind of gloom and crap like that because growth is exciting right so when you see your portfolio go 5 10 15 percent higher then yeah that's very exciting so you don't ever want to think about the negative I'm trying to do a good combination of both just to preserve capital ultimately and this is why I do have a lot of money in both cash so C-A-S-H and also C-M-R so all in all it is what it is um, I'm not really happy with how cash actually does perform even though it should be trending up almost every day or second day has been very much lagging so I'm not happy with that C-M-R is a little bit more structured you can clearly tell that um, so uh, I might be selling cash essentially once I do get kind of to my break even point but who knows we'll just have to wait and see aside from that though I've basically been just living life I know that sounds kind of weird but if there's discounts to be had I don't really have any plan so for instance Tesla selling off over the last couple of days I take advantage of that especially the fact that it is one of those CDRs that I like to target so just take a look at C um, where is it CBOE dot CA just to list all of the CDRs if you are interested in doing that because I find this very advantageous that way you don't get hit with a lot of currency conversion and many other unnecessary fees associated to all that of course cdrs do have fees but it works out to be like very very minimal in the end and then so ultimately yeah that's what i've been doing taking advantage some specific transactions i have been doing just to filter based on only tax-free savings account so this is what i've been doing so i bought roughly 100 shares of paypal at four dollars and 42 cents i also did buy five shares of bell at 48.91 and that was done today i have a pending order for tesla at 40 shares 16.50 i already did buy some tesla today at 16.49 at 10 shares so i kind of came close to the bottom essentially just overall i would really like to have a little bit more tesla to be honest and then i bought some Apple and keep in mind these are all CDR prices but one share at $25.91 but I did sell my one share of CRM no rhyme or reason just to kind of clean up my portfolio I did hold it for the was it 
three weeks or two and a half weeks or something like that. And I was up well, 10%, something like that. So whatever, I just wanted to lock in the $2 because that does make me feel a little bit rich. And then I did buy, it looks like five additional shares at $16.90 for Tesla. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of buying and even looking at yesterday, I bought the same kind of stuff. So Bell, um, a little bit more at $49.19, Bell and whatever else. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I'm just watching a lot of stocks just to see if there's any significant movement. But aside from that, I'm just going to be coasting and that's what you should be doing overall with a portfolio. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Make sure you take advantage of this promo so it is only up until March the 8th. Simply sign up for a new tax-free savings account or RSP with Mubu. Throw $100 at it and they give you a $50 cash bonus. So this is one of the best deals. Take advantage of this. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that, appreciate all of you watching.